Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Callum's Reef Tank on Thinking Reef. So today I just wanted to do a quick wee video um, on anemones, built up anemones specifically. Um, as you can see, I have a few here. Um, so I've got three, there's actually three there. Um, there's one on the left and then there's two here. Um, I've got one up here um, and I've got one down here as well. Now, as you can see guys, my bubble tip anemones are stereotypical bubble tip anemones. They're really, really bubbly. When I first got my anemones, um, they really weren't bubbly at all. It was actually only one anemone, it's split into five. Um, I actually had more than that, but they've kind of disappeared over time. Um, but yeah, when I first got them, they're really elongated, really thin, didn't look like bubble tips at all. And I think there's been a few kind of um, discussions on the internet and things about why bubble tip anemones get bubbles, basically. But the only thing that I can say, um, guys, is that man enemies obviously look how everybody kind of wants them to look. Um, they do look really great and they're really healthy. I don't feed man enemies, so that's the first thing. So I don't feed them. As soon as you start feeding them, they're going to start splitting. Um, and they've kind of got themselves into places where they're happy with the flow and the lighting and things like that. So these ones are lower down, this one's higher up. Um, there doesn't seem to be much difference. Uh, the only thing is that the one with the clownfish hosting um, do sometimes go slightly more elongated than the ones that they aren't hosting. Um, now, guys, I've got a kind of theory as to what this is. So um, before I had um, my, my dozer, basically, um, my enemies looked really stringy. As soon as I started dozing my system uh, with the required elements and maintaining levels, these anemones started popping and started um, bubbling up. So I think if you're struggling with your enemies, guys, and you don't doze, what I would do is get some three-part, I doze three-part, um, Aquaforest one, two, three, um, which is amazing stuff, along with my prebiotic Aquaforest Reef Salt. Um, and if you don't doze that, guys, or if you don't doze at all, maybe look into some sort of three-part. You don't have to spend a fortune on a dozer. My Wi-Fi dozer is a Coral Box one. It was only, um, I think, £125. Um, and yeah, it does the job. So uh, I do that, and I, I also dose some amino acids as well. But yeah, so guys, if you're having trouble with your enemies, and um, they're not settling, it could be that your parameters aren't stable, and that's um, the cause of it. Um, so give it a go. I'm not saying it'll work, but... Um, it's certainly a theory of mine because mines have popped ever since um, dozing. And to be honest, even if it doesn't work, um, the rest of your system will definitely benefit from um, stable parameters and um, a nice dozing tank, a uh, nice dozing uh, pump. Um, all right, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in once again. You've been watching Callum's Reef Tank on Finn King Reef. Happy reefing.